crazy still. All right, and welcome back. We got uh, Michael from Toby. Uh, welcome to the show, man. How you doing? Thank you. It's good to be here. Awesome, oh, man. It, it's 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 a pleasure. Hopefully, you, you know, you don't have any stage fright. It's, it's only us here. Don't don't worry about everybody <laughs> else on the screen. <laughs> no worries. No worries. We'll we'll get through this. All right. No problem, man. So, I mean, Toby, you know, it, it's 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 a pleasure to have you guys here. You know, like, thank you guys so much for, you know, helping support Admiral Esports in all our events. But, you know, for all the new people out there that may not know, you know, what Toby is, can you guys can you give us a little bit about, you know, the history behind Toby and, you know, what got him into Star Citizen? Sure. I mean, Toby's we've been working with eye tracking for 20 years. It's oh, 20 wow. years to today. So so we started in the research and the assistive business. And in 2015, we started to engage with the gaming community and, and because we're seeing this awesome possibility of, of making the games even better with with more immersion and and it was kind of a hen and an egg problem because there was no game supporting eye tracking and there was no eye trackers in the consumer environment to 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 enable that either so so we started working both with the gaming community and with the gaming studios to to kind of show that show those those possibilities and and uh, We've been working through three generations now of eye trackers, and we're out in 160 games. So we're seeing the the wow. breakthrough now. Wow, that's that's a lot. So, like, um, what are the technologies like? You know, you talked about eye tracking um, behind the tr the uh, track IR5. Like, how does it work? Well, in 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 theory, it's it's a very th simple thing. It's it's mm -hmm. this little thing you put it under your monitor and. Uh, it's it's a camera. It's an infrared camera taking pictures of your eyes while while it's also shooting infrared light at you. So so then inside that little thing, there's, there's a lot of math going on to calculate what what those images mean in terms of what you're looking at, and and that's what you get out from from the little stick. Uh, so so that's essentially it. It's a lot of math, and it's all happening on the stick. So, so you said infrared, so it, it easily works with like you having glasses on and everything, right? Yes. Okay. And that's that's the beauty of, of of the infrared because it doesn't matter if you have reflections from visual light from from windows or or if you you're in the dark, it's it still works. And you yeah. mentioned Not interfering with what you're trying to look at. Right. Yeah, uh, you mentioned like the math was taking place on the stick, right? So um, mm -hmm. you mean that like when you plug it in and you want to play a game, it's not going to like eat into, um, you know, like uh, your resources, right? Like when you're playing games. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. That that was kind of the the first things we realized when we started to entering the oh. gaming community and work with gaming that, hey, <laughs> games need that CPU for, for other stuff. So, so right. the... the for C, the, the previous gener generation, that was the first one that had the computation happening on, on the eye tracker just to offload the games. That was actually one of the main drivers for cool. that technology. That's really awesome, actually, yeah. So, um, like, what kind of features does the Toby eye tracker, um, like, uh, offer to Star Citizen right now? Well, uh, right now in 3.14, and previously, it's it's mostly the head tracking features that are enabled also on other devices so so to me what it what it enables is immersion because i mean wow. star citizen is a beautiful game yes. <laughs> and a lot of things is going on around you all the time and just being able to to look around and look at what what you're i mean when when you're parking your ship at lorville you want to you want to know what where those edges are on the doors and, and same thing when when you go mining just when you're sending out that ping stuff is popping up around you and just being able to look around that just improves the immersion so uh, to be honest I, I can't even fly without it anymore <laughs> that's so awesome yeah it's, it's become part of like your get up like you i can't fly without dual sticks or having a hodis so it's like become part of the setup and you know I, i've seen it you know, I've seen other people like, I think I first found out about Toby. You said 20 years. I first <laughs> found out about Toby like three years ago. So that's crazy because like, 
I feel like uh, I had people playing FPS, and one of my favorite FPS was Overwatch at the time. And I saw people, you know, just kind of having it on, and you could toggle it on Twitch and things like that. And I thought it was incredible. Like, I could see what he's doing, where he's looking at, like, you know, and, and even when people are playing RTS games, like, you can see their APMs and what they're looking at, and they're always looking at resources and down. So it's actually a really incredible tool. So, you know, I'm, I'm glad you guys, you know, joined the gaming space because you guys are just making it a lot more easier and a lot more better for us to kind of, you know, just play, you know, play our games on an everyday basis. So, but, um, you know, to ask here, what features, you know, I think we saw a little bit of a patch, but I, I if you don't mind explaining it a little bit, because I believe in 315, you guys um, uh, brought like a target feature by just looking at uh, what you're looking at in the game. So can you explain that a little bit? Absolutely. And, and this is something I'm really excited about because it's, it's actually the first eye tracking based feature that's in, introduced in Star Citizen and and you know when when you're in a situation where there's a lot of ships involved like Xeno threat or yes. or big pvp situations there's a lot of red dots to, to cycle yeah. through and and <laughs> yes. if if you have select the nearest target as your selection method that that isn't always the one you're kind of facing so so by selecting something it pops up in the edge and you have to kind of orient yourself to see where it is and if you have uh, select something under the reticule the reticule isn't always where the enemies are uh, so it's it's this situation of cycle 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 oh, come on i want that one <laughs> and, and then you target <laughs> and, and you're able to fire yeah, your missiles yeah. and 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 the gaze at target feature that is coming in 315 what that enables you to do is just simply to look at the target you want to select and then you select it. Uh, so it, it's, wow. it enables, to me, it enables the immersion again, because to be honest, the cycle cycle isn't really taking that long, but it's, it, it creates that millisecond of frustration where you should yeah. right. just want that one. And, and that frustration moment just doesn't happen. And to me, that, negative feeling is is breaking immersion and just skipping yep. that little step that is that that is what this feature adds to the game and and uh, that is also what i think eye tracking is about it's really about enabling is that bridging the gap between us as humans and the technology yeah. that we're using to 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 play the game it just and helps the game understand my intent and and help me smoothen out the experience and bridge the gap of technology so that's that's to me is is why we're so enthused yeah. about bringing it's so cool man. eye tracking into games yeah, yeah i've it, been it, it's so cool yeah I, I've, I've been fortunate enough to uh to play the ptu and to try it out and uh, it is one of those things that like you know not only is it immersive but it's one of those very few things that you can get like to add to something that not only makes it more immersive but also makes it more accessible too you know, like, uh, uh, just everything about it just kind of like makes sense with the gameplay that we have right now. Yeah. Uh, it's really cool what you've done with it for sure. I look forward to seeing, you know, like where it goes, you know? Yeah, I saw, I saw a quick video of, uh, Ari Neo. He was kind of like doing a little bit of a, of a kind of like a show of it. And all he really did was in the video was literally look at the target and hit a keybind and instantly lock on. I'm like, Yo, this, is this is game changer, especially for like, especially for like, if you're dog fighting so you know like um you know and, and to kind of get, get into that um you know like uh admo esports and toby has been working on um you know kind of like a showcase to kind of showcase um you know this uh how do you say it? uh this feature in that's coming 315 so as a part of a uh of a preview for what's coming for fight or flight um we uh you know our, ourselves admo esports and toby we want to officially announce the fight or flight toby gaming flash uh so uh and this is gonna be incredible here michael because we're gonna have eight content creators we're gonna be giving them random ship loadouts and then we're gonna be putting them against each other so with these random ship loadouts they're gonna be able to have you know uh one team is gonna have maybe you know a uh, a saber and a gladius and then the other team will have to mirror that and then it's up to each team to pick who's gonna fly what and we're gonna give them random loadouts, so that way it's a fair plane. But um, Meyer, you wanna you, you wanna announce the content creators that are gonna be, are, are gonna be participating in this incredible event? 
Well, I don't have the list of content creators on me, but I know one of them, and uh, they happen to wear a red hat. So. <laughs> All right, so we have, so check this out, guys. We have eight content creators. We're going to have the Astro Pub, who is an incredible historian of the, of the verse and just an incredible guy overall. We got the Dark Law, one of the best low flyers in the verse. We got my man Maya, who's going to be participating as well as a content creator. We got Tarada, who is an absolute killer of flyer as well. We got the only one, of course, one of the biggest influences in Star Citizen. We got my man Salty Mike, who uh, who is probably going to be salty throughout the uh, the whole tournament. But <laughs> it's all good, man. We love him no matter what. We're going to have the deadly, uh, the deadly Captain Burks uh, as well participating, and of course. We got to get our, our female repre uh, representation here. We got the incredible, uh, also a great low flyer, Water Potate. And then not in, uh, last but not least, we got Zero State Live. Who uh, And these eight content creators, here's what they're going to do. They're going to actually be picking one person, all from their communities, in order to join them into this 2v2. So eight content creators picking one community member in order to participate in this tournament. Um, you know, and, and, and it's going to be incredible. It's going to be a great show, and we're going to be actually featuring the Toby Eye Tracker, and they're gonna actually going to be using the feature that Mikael has, or Michael, sorry, uh, has actually yeah, explained to us, and they're going to be using that gaze feature to lock on to be able to fight against each other. So I'm telling you guys, November 20th, these content creators are going to be going against each other in a 2v2 double elimination bracket, and it's going to be absolutely incredible. So I want to give, give a big shout-out to Toby Gaming, for helping us put this together and also we're going to be having some incredible prizes from thrustmaster who's going to be also joining us as a supporting sponsor and giving us some incredible prizes for not only the community members for you guys at home so november 20th mark your calendars meyer mark your calendars <laughs> michael because i'm telling you this is going to be an incredible show eight uh eight teams 2v2 battle dog fighting with random loadouts it's going to be a blast michael how do you feel about this tournament and and uh like 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 what do you think i'm sorry i'm excited i have lost a lot. i'm so excited for this i i i can only share your enthusiasm i think it's super super in the, i i i'm really excited to see the community stuff that happens around star citizen because i i i think the 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 state of the game yes kind of enables the community to do things together and i i think this is just a super in interesting example on, on that happening so i'm i'm super excited to 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 see where this how this ends no uh, it's it's gonna be great and and what what i love about this uh michael as well they're gonna actually be uh we're gonna have featured matches where um these content creators are gonna be using toby ghost so while you're actually while they're dog fighting we're actually going to have cameras and you're going to be able to see the viewers at home are going to actually going to be able to see where the content creator is looking at and where they're shooting and and where they're targeting and that's the you know that's the fun part of you know just having you know toby in general especially for star citizen so super excited for this uh michael and uh you know I, I i appreciate you coming with us here today to kind of help us announce this incredible tournament but uh i know these eight content creators are going to be are going to have a lot of fun with their toby eye tracker but um I also want to give a shout out because uh, I'm going to be casting it, but we are, we're, we're also going to have a man, Detox, who is a specialist out there in dog fighting and in org battles. He's going to be casting alongside me on November 28th, while, of course, Meyer is competing and hopefully practicing after today. I'll be hosting <laughs> tryouts to see who's going to carry me. <laughs> hey, hey, he's going to be hosting tryouts, so go check out Meyer, and hopefully you can jump <laughs> in as well uh, into this uh, 2v2 dog fight battle with, uh, with our eight content creators. But... Um, uh, Michael, uh, you know, any, uh, anything else you want to say about Toby, about, you know, Star Citizen, anything you want to say to the community out there? Well, a big shout out to, to, to the community for, for making this game what it is. Uh, the IG, of course, ha has their hand in it as, as well, but I think the community is making the game as much as, as CIG. So big shout out there. And of course, a big shout out to Atmo for hosting this event and, and events like it. It's, it's. It's a virtual event, but but looking behind the scenes, I see all the kinds of logistic challenges that would be with the real real life events. So big shout out to to keep making this happen. So thank you for that. Uh, no no problem, man. Meyer, any any last words here for Michael before uh, we take off? 
Um, no last words. No, just uh, thank you so much for coming here today. And uh, it's been really cool using the Toby and uh, seeing what's, you know, like uh, been coming with it with 315 and stuff. And I look forward to the future of it too. And uh, for, yes. you know, uh, taking home uh, maybe second place uh, with this uh, tournament. <laughs> oh man, I am looking forward to see what you're looking at. So <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a great way to say it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, after this, we got the Hurston Hurt Locker coming up. Okay, we're gonna be starting off with Heat One, so don't go anywhere because the mayhem is about to start on a crater on Magda, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, Toby. We'll be right back. Thank you guys so much for hanging out, guys. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere.